Hey guys, it's Bobby from Bobster Tech again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hack Flappy Bird. So you can impress your friends or whatnot, or just for personal pleasure. I don't know, but I'm going to teach you how to do that today. So these are the three things you're going to need. You're going to need a jailbroken iPhone, and this will work. I, I'm currently running 6.1.4, but this will work on 7.0 and 7.0. 1.4 I think is the latest ver or whatever the latest version is it works right now as of cur as of currently today is February 4th 2014 so yeah first you're gonna want to go to Cydia and search iFile which I already have it installed it's from Big Boss or you can install from Xlize if you have it, it depends how many sources you have, but usually, but whenever you, the current jailbreak comes with Big Boss, so all you gotta do is search iFile and just install it. You don't need the paid version, just get the trial for now, and that's all I have, so you just install it. Alright, so, and of course you need Flappy Bird, so I'm gonna go into Flappy Bird, and... As you can see, my best is 23. And, alright. So. So, now you're wondering, so how do I hack it? Alright, so you're going to want to go to iFile. And let me go over here. So you want to go to the root, which is slash, just right there. And then you're going to scroll down until you see var, whoops. VAR, click VAR, mobile, applications, and then you might, I don't think you'll have um, the app names, so, alright, so, okay, hold on a second, Did you, turn off application names, so you'll probably just have folders like this, and probably going to confuse you so you're going to want to go to the settings gear in the left hand corner of your screen and you'll be right here and then click file manager and then click and then turn application names on and hit done so now you'll be able to see all your applications so you're going to going to want to scroll down until you see flappy bird then you're going to want to go to documents and you should see a score dot that file. So if you haven't played Flappy Bird before, make sure you play it and at least get to one before you do this, or you will not have this file stored there. So you're gonna want to click it and open it with Text Viewer and click Edit, and you'll probably have one of these weird-looking character things, and you're just going to want to erase it. What's it? All right. So there's many things you can do with this. You can't just put a number you want your score to be in here because they have it made to where they don't want you to hack it. So they've made special characters to specify what your score is, which I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. You can tweak around with it if you want. Like, okay, so if I put, you can make it ridiculous numbers or realistic numbers. So the highest one I found is that if you type in a lowercase a, and lowercase and uppercase a are different. Uppercase a would be 65, and lowercase a would be 97. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and done. And make sure your Flappy Bird app is closed before you restart it. And then go back to your Flappy Bird app. And... Whoa, well, as you can see, that is my current score. It changes for some reason. It's not always a set score whenever you type in one of these characters. Like, last time I put in a, just a lowercase a, I got 97, but this time I'm getting a giant number. Okay, oh, I think it was because I didn't have Flappy Bird closed. I can try that again real fast. Well, I'll try another character. So, I'm going to click that and go to Text Viewer and click Edit. And uh, last time I tried using one... And I click save. I got 49. So I'm going to close out of that and go back to Flappy Bird. Click start. And as you can see, there's a giant number again.
<laughs> so you're just gonna have to tweak around with it. I mean, I'm sure you're not wanting, you're not going to want a giant ridiculous number that nobody will believe. So you just gotta tweak around with it. Click edit. Oops. Go here, text viewer. Then you go to edit. So I'm going to try. Hmm. Let's try. I'm going to try V this time. The last time I used V, I got 86. But it's going to be different for every single device. So you will have to speak around with it. And I'm currently using an iPhone 5, but not all iPhone 5 users will have the same uh, amount. It, it depends on how many times you've played it, what your real high score is, and etc. And yeah, oh whoops. See, I didn't close out a flappy bird, so I'm going to, need to do that again. Text editor and edit V. Save and done. And I'm going to go back to Flappy Bird. Press start. And there we go, another ridiculous amount of numbers. So, yeah, as I said, you're going to have to tweak around with it, but the more tweaking you do, the better luck you'll have to find. A uh, reasonable amount that you can trick your friends into saying like, oh my gosh, I've gotten 5,000 in one try, or something. Which, before I was getting it to around there, and now I'm getting ridiculously large numbers. But th there's a chance they may be the same as mine, but not likely. So just tweak around with it, and... Well, let me try getting one and see what happens. I think you gotta at least get one. You know, I just get the same number. So yeah, as I said, just tweak around with it. And yeah, so so thanks for watching, guys. And um, have fun hacking your Flappy Bird. Um, it, leave in the description if you get the same numbers as mine. And yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'll have more iPhone tutorials in the future. If you're wondering how to do something on your iPhone, or if you want a tutorial just in general, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or leave a link in the description. I mean, not that. What am I talking about? Leave a comment in the comment section of a video you'd like to watch. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.